Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing on with my admin certified admin mini series or mini course. Today we're going to be going over roles and role hierarchy. To know about roles and role hierarchy, we're going to dive into a little bit of the security side of Salesforce. There's two types of security in Salesforce. There's object level security and there's record level security. We'll go into object level security later on, but because we're working in roles and hierarchy, it is one of the main parts of record level security. So let's go ahead and jump into our Salesforce org. From setup, we're gonna go to search for roles. All right, now that we're here in roles, um, we'll be seeing a little bit of this type of tree pattern. So you have the top level of your hierarchy. This one happens to be an executive staff, and then you have different territories and then people underneath them. So how role hierarchy works is that anyone in international, that is an international sales rep in these two different groups all of their records will be able to be seen by their manager or their international sales director. And again, they'll also be able to be seen by the executive staff. So it kind of works up, but one of the drawbacks of role hierarchies is that anyone on the same level, you cannot see their records. So anyone person or any two people in international sales reps, they cannot see each other's records. Also, and the Eastern sales rep cannot see and the international sales rep as well as Western cannot see them. So, but that can be fixed with a little bit of sharing rules, which we'll go into in the next video. So let's go ahead and go into setting up roles. You do have to have um, granting access using hierarchies enabled. So if you can click down, we'll be able to see the different people underneath the CEO. We have a CFO, a COO, the Senior VP of Customer Service and Support, Human Resources, etc. So let's go underneath the CFO. It doesn't look like he has anyone underneath him, so we can add a role. So I'm adding Financial Analysts A and they report to the CFO. So let's go ahead and click Save. And you can see we can assign users here or create a new user here under Financial Analyst A. So I'm gonna go back to CFO. Here, let's actually go back to Roles. Set up Roles, so we have Financial Analyst A. I'm gonna add another role. and save. Let's go back to roles and we'll take a look at this. Okay, you can see that we have financial analyst A, financial analyst B, underneath financial analyst A. So I'm gonna add group A too. and save. So now we've created a few roles. So we have three different groups of financial analysts. We have financial analyst A, financial analyst B, and financial analyst A2. A and A2 both report up to the CFO, but financial analyst B report to financial analyst A. So any report that the financial analyst B make will be able to be seen by A, the CFO, the CEO, but will not be able to be seen by any financial analyst A2, 
and anyone underneath them or the COO or any of these other senior VPs. One thing to note is that everyone can only or one person can only have one role. This is a little different when you get into object level security where you can have multiple things assigned to people. But when you're dealing with record level security and role hierarchies, that is one thing to note. So be sure to like and subscribe and drop down in the comments and let me know if you have any other questions about role hierarchies and how they work. Um, be sure to join me in the next video. We are going to be going over sharing roles and how that helps in record level security. Thank you for joining me.